There's nothing more exciting than getting dolled up and ready for date night. After all that, the makeup, the outfit, you top it off with your favorite fragrance, and then you head to that restaurant that you had reservation for for weeks, come back. I'm going to discuss my favorite fragrances for date night. But you got to come back because how you going to smell good for your date? Come back. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video of Smell Good with Jenna. I'm, of course, Jenna. Thank you for stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe, the whole nine. You know what you got to do. But let's get right into it. Date night. So last month was February, and, you know, Valentine's Day, and I thought about it. I mean, every listen, everyone does these type of videos, but I wanted to put my own take into it. Went out for with, with my boyfriend for Valentine's Day a couple of days prior, and we were smelling good. So I'm like, this would be a perfect video, especially since I haven't done too many videos as of late to to come to put out there. So, you know, let's get right into it. So I said I would mention this fragrance pretty frequently in the next coming videos, and I'm keeping my word with that. Mancera's Roses of Vene. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful date night scent. It's unisex, and a lot of men may not... A lot of my fragrances here are unisex, so this is just because I'm discussing it doesn't mean, you know, as a man, y'all can't... You can't rock it either. Um, this is a unisex scent. I don't know how... you. I don't know how men feel about ro ro a rose note, but it's definitely a unisex scent. I love it. I think it's sweet. It's... it's with the rose note, it's... it's it gives very much date. Vanilla, I mentioned in, in I think my vanilla top vanilla videos that uh, is actually an aphrodisiac. So you take take what you want with that. The perfect combination for a date. Roses Vene. Next up on my list, we have Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. This is an uber, uber popular fragrance, and rightfully so. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a popular fragrance. It's super sweet. It's a beast. It's perfect for just... It's inviting. I remember when I went to Bloomingdale's with my friends and the sales rep was selling us... Even though I already had Love Don't Be Shy, but when I was with my friends and they were getting into their fragrance bag and the sales rep was explaining that like, this is something that's just so inviting that it leaves a trail of like, I want to smell that person. Let me get closer to that person. And it, this is very true. The orange blossom, the marshmallow, some people might say is really sweet, but I love the fact that it's sweet. I think it's just, again, like the sales rep said, inviting. And that's what you want on a date, right? Whether it's someone you're getting to know for the first time or it's your partner, you want to be inviting. What better way than to wear Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. Next up, we have Initio Side Effect. This is super sexy. I know when I first sampled this, I wasn't sure how I felt about it, but it reminds me of Angel Share, only because obviously the cinnamon note and instead of cognac, it has a rum note in here, but it's uber, uber sexy. Oh my God, I wore this actually on Valentine's Day and it was the perfect combination with that. And then my boyfriend wore John Paul Gautier's Lamel, Le the elixir one. I'll, that's actually coming up on the list. So, men, I got you. I told y'all I got you with this list. But, yeah, it was just a perfect combination with the cinnamon and everything. And we, we were just smelling real good. This fragrance in particular... Roses Vene, I think it's it's a nice, playful, sweet scent. Love Don't Be Shy is very inviting. This is sexy. So if you're trying to be all seductive and whatnot on your on your date, side effect. Initial side effect. Next up on my list is Valentino's Born in Roma Intense. I love this fragrance. Mmm. It's so funny because I almost passed up on this. I, I was such, I'm still such a huge fan of the regular, the original one, Born in Roma. 
But again, I was on Instagram and I saw someone's video about this and looking at the notes and I saw it had bourbon and, and light bulb went off in my head. Bath and Body Works had a, had a scent, cozy vanilla bourbon. And I thought, you know what, self, that will be a bomb layering combo. So I'm like, you know what? I'm I'm determined to get this. I got this, and it's, this doesn't disappoint. It is absolutely sexy. I know the male version um, is really, really good, too. It's sexy. So if you love Valentino, Born in Roma, and it, it it's just such an uh, intoxicating scent with the orange blossom and everything in it, this here is just sexy so you wear that one in the daytime but then you want to amp, amp it up and just again be sensual seductive born in roman intense is absolutely amazing perfect 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 for date night check it out next up on my list this fragrance it's it's i feel like i don't want to say polarizing but it, it catches a lot of flack but i love it and I think it's perfect for date night. Rouge Smoking by BDK Perfumes. I love this. It You know, you see the juice is red and you automatically, automatically think, oh, this is going to be a, um, a cherry fragrance. And it is. It has cherry in it. But when you smell it, it doesn't, it, you don't really pick up on that. It's, it, a lot of people say it smells like Dr. Pepper or some type of cola and that turns them off, I love it. Not only do I love it, when I spray it on me, it takes a, it takes a turn. It smells, it, it actually leans a little bit masculine and I don't know if that's because of the pink pepper in it. Um, what is it? I think there's Tonka being, being in it. I don't know, but it takes a slight turn. Again, it's, I find it slightly masculine, masculine, but I'm here for it, you know? And I think it's just very, very sexy. I've been wearing it throughout the winter. Um, I'm interested to see if, how to pull it off, maybe potentially in the spring. But I, it's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful scent. And again, man, woman can wear it. I told y'all, I got gotcha. y'all. So yeah, definitely pick up BDK's Rouge Smoking. Next up on my list, we have one. This is one that catches a lot of flack. I don't know. I still love it. I think, again, as we dabble into the niche world, we turn our nose up to designer. And sometimes designer is where it's at, too. But next up on my list, we have Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. Again, I know this catches a lot of flack. Some people hate this. I don't know why, but... I personally enjoy this. I, I think it's uber sexy. I think if you're on a budget and you don't want to spend $200, $300 on a fragrance, you know, go to Macy's or Sephora or wherever, Ulta, whatever, and get this for whatever. I don't know. I have a 1.7 ounce. I think this cost me a little under 100 with, on, with discounts and stuff like that. I, I, I thought, like, I bought so many fragrances. And, you know, I've come to like so many different things and I'm, and I ran this back and I'm like, do I still mess with this? And I very much still mess with this. I think this is sexy. You look at the bottle. A lot of people think this is cheesy. I don't know why. I think this is creative, but that's what it represents. You going on a date, wearing that nice black dress, date dress, Get some heels, high heels on, and boom, sexy. And it's long lasting in my opinion. So you can't go wrong with a fragrance that is long lasting and smells super good for cheap. Some of the notes in it, it has so many different things like almond, coffee. I don't like tuberoses, but tuberoses in there, orange blossom, just so many different things. I think it's blended well. I don't know about the flankers. I think after a while it be it becomes redundant. So maybe that's why people don't like it because there's so many different variations. But the OG, I think it's perfect for date night. Catalina Herrera's good girl. 
Next up on my list, we have Delina Exclusive. I actually sprayed this earlier and it, <laughs> it smells like Delina Exclusive. But this is a beautiful scent. It's perfect for this time of weather. You know, typically people don't... Well, I don't know. I hate to generalize, but you normally cat cat categorize rose for the spring right flowers and everything like that but this is a beautiful scent where this could be rocked in cooler weather weather i don't know i can't talk right now but it's for cooler weather and it's just a again roses i think it's perfect for for date night this is a beautiful beautiful scent i know everyone talks about delina i like delina but i thought the exclusive version was more my zhuzh and it's so creamy, the dry down. I think it's just an inviting, beautiful scent. So definitely recommend this for date night. Parfums of Marley's Delina Exclusive. Last but not least on my list, listen, fellas, I told you I got gotcha. you. Essentially, this whole list that I that I mentioned in this video is unisex. So man, woman, whoever can wear it. Some are geared specifically to women, and this one is essentially geared to men, but I can see women rocking this. I mentioned earlier in the video for Valentine's Day, I wore Initial Side Effect, and my boyfriend wound up wearing John Paul Gaultier's Le Mail Elixir. This smells absolutely amazing. I kept telling this man, you smell so good. This smells good. Wow, you smell good. And I kept picking it up and sniffing it. It's a beautiful, beautiful cologne. Uh, honestly, not for nothing. I could see women dabbling with it. It's not. It's not too geared towards men, even though in the name is called Le Mel. But I, some of the notes, I thought it had cinnamon in it, but it had honey, tobacco, vanilla, uh, lavender, mint. I think those are essentially all the the fragrances, the notes in it. I just absolutely love it. They even sprayed it on me. It leans a little too masculine, but I can see specifically during the dry down that it's something a woman who who who's willing to dabble in that in that route could definitely wear it. Beautiful scent, and again, it's you don't we don't have to buy two hundred, three hundred dollar, four hundred dollar fragrances to smell good and leave an impression. This wasn't that too much of an expensive fragrance. Well. In this economy, anything is expensive. Listen, so I'm, you know, no judgment on what you find that find what's expensive, but it's not like the other fragrances on specifically on this list. So I definitely recommend you checking that out, especially if you don't want to break the bank. John Paul Gaultier's Le Mail Elixir. Fellas, thank me later. Thank me later. Thank, and that's my list. Thank you so much for stopping by. Again, if you haven't already, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, follow the whole nine. Let me know in the comments what did you think of the list. Is there something else that I should pick up that I that I didn't mention? I know there's Bond Number Nines, Nomad that I absolutely love that I haven't picked up yet. I didn't mention, but I think that's a beautiful date night set. So definitely let me know. And always remember... The best compliment one can get is that you smell so good.